Yoto has brought out a third generation of its popular Yoto player, as my kids have been long time users of the Yoto player second generation and the Yoto mini, I thought I would share our honest thoughts on the brand new version of the Yoto player. We're going to talk about what's changed with this kids audio player and is it worth the money. First of all, as you can see, at first glance it doesn't look way too dissimilar to the second generation of the Yoto player. So with the screen on the older Yoto, it was kind of integrated into um, the whole of the box so it's kind of a seamless um, finish from the screen all the way around to the other side of the box whereas with this one you've kind of got an edge here and Yoto does say they have improved this pixel display to make it a bit clearer better quality there's a few practical differences here so first of all the charging there is a USB-C charging cable that comes with the Yoto player third generation it's a pretty decent length which is a really big plus point when we look at the second generation this came with a magnetic docking station which I was a really big fan of because it was so easy for little hands to use because it literally just went on there without really much effort for kids whereas with this I think some kids I mean look most kids will be able to do it I just think it's ever so slightly more fiddly and precise for smaller hands to deal with. Yoto does sell a magnetic docking station for its third generation player separately Annoyingly for people like me who already have a second generation player, the second generation player magnetic charging point is not compatible with the third generation player. Moving on to more practical differences between the two players. So the Yoto third generation comes with stereo sound, so improved sound quality for your kids when they're listening to their favourite stories or their favourite music. Battery life has always been greatly, greatly improved. You'll now get 24 hours on a single charge. The second generation boasts of just 15 hours on a single charge, so a lot more time. Your child can use it for the full day without having to have it plugged in once it's fully charged. Storage capacity has also been massively increased. In fact, it's been doubled to 32 gigabytes, which is equal to around about 600 hours of audio. So if you're planning to take this player away with you, your child is going to be able to have all the audio they need on the player ready for them to use. Storage in the Oto player isn't so much of a concern if you're connected to Wi-Fi, as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. When you put a brand new card in, it's going to download that card. The issue comes if you are out and about, you're not connected to Wi-Fi, that's when Yoto needs to call upon the audio that it's already got stored in its memory. Another new addition is a room thermometer. So you can now check the Yoto app to see how warm, cold your child's room is. I'm not sure how useful this is for older kids. I don't worry that much about room temperature these days now that my children are over five. Certainly when they were babies and toddlers, I did. I actually had separate nursery room thermometers for both of my kids just to help me figure out how to dress them at night for when they were going to sleep, particularly concerning during heat waves, just worrying about them being comfortable so I think this is a really useful feature if you're going to put it in the bedroom of a child who is a lot younger, not necessarily for the older kids. There's also Bluetooth function here so it can pair to Bluetooth headphones or be used as a Bluetooth speaker. And speaking of headphones, just like with the second generation Yoto player, there's also a plug-in point for plug-in headphones if your child has a pair of those. And let's talk about something else that you probably care about a lot, the cost. This player is £10, round about £10 more expensive than the second generation Yoto player. So I've just highlighted the key differences between the second generation Yoto player and the brand new third generation player but if you're completely new to Yoto then you may want to know a little bit more about what it actually does. First of all the main thing that your child is probably going to use their Yoto player for is to play Yoto cards. So there's a huge selection of Yoto cards available, they're all sold separately from the actual Yoto player. You can buy them from the Yoto store and there are also lots of other retailers that sell Yoto cards such as Amazon. My children's current favourite is Matilda because they're absolutely obsessed with Matilda the musical right now but there are a ton of other things that you can find on there, other Roald Dahl classics, Disney classics that you can get for it. There's Marvel stories on there. We've got the original Star Wars trilogy as well, which I'm, I'm, for me personally, is a big Star Wars fan. I'm really, really glad to see that on there. Frozen, Draft the Pelly and Me. We've got fairy tale stories. I've recently bought the kids a brand new Enid Blyton Summer Stories collection. So as you can see, there are a lot of options with the Yoto cards. They range in price from around about $7.99 for a single card with a story on to over £20 for a story collection. Once your child has chosen a story that they want to listen to, they simply put it into the slot up here and it will start to play. <laughs> Say your child wants to pause the story or you want to turn it off because it's time for them to go to bed, 
you take the card out when you put the card back in it resumes from where your child was actually listening to it just a quick guide to how you actually control the yoto player very very simple this style here is volume you just twist it to turn up or down when it's in this mode nothing is playing you can tap this button here and this plays the daily podcast press it one more time and you get yoto radio press it again and it goes back to the home screen. Your Yoto player comes with one, you make your own card, and you can also buy more in the store. These can be used to add your own audio, for example, you or a loved one reading a story to your child. All you need to do to make your own card is to record the audio on your smartphone in the Yoto app, and then upload it to the card via the player. It's very, very simple. You can also create a music playlist. If you've got some MP3 tracks, you can create a playlist in your Yoto account and then upload it to a make your own card. Say you've lost a favorite Yoto card. It hasn't happened to us yet, but it could happen. All the Yoto cards are stored in the Yoto app in your Loto library. So you can see all of our cards here in our Yoto library. Say that you've lost the physical card. You simply go to here, you can select it, and then you can go through the steps to put the content onto a make your own Yoto card. And you can always replace content on the Yo make your own Yoto card if your child wants something different on there. So the other cool features of the Yoto player obviously are this very, very cool pixel screen, which is really, really retro and I love it. The screen changes depending on what is playing on the Yoto player. Parents of kids who struggle to sleep will like to know that there are free sleep sounds that you can play through the Yoto player. You simply go to the app, select sleep sounds, and then pick from the range of different options that there are there and they will play automatically to a Yoto player. One of the things that I have liked the most and my kids have liked the most about having a Yoto player is the free Yoto daily podcast. It's a fantastic podcast specifically for kids. There's no ads on there. There's funny content, there's informative content, there are birthday shout outs. They absolutely love listening to it. There's also a free Yoto radio station. Again, there are no ads associated with that. I've mentioned the Yoto app a couple of times. You get complete parental control of the Yoto player from the app. You can control the volume, you can control the brightness of the screen, you can, can turn it off if you want to. You can change the function of the buttons, swap them around, make them play different things. You can set alarms, you can set alerts. It gives you total control over how your child uses the player and also changes some of the functions of the buttons. The Yoto also has a built-in nightlight which you can turn on simply by placing it face down and this area here begins to glow. It's not a particularly bright nightlight if your child has a particular problem with their bedroom at night, they don't really like the dark. I would say the Yoto nightlight possibly isn't quite gonna be enough brightness for them. There are a range of accessories that you can buy for the Yoto player. One of them, as I've already mentioned, is the magnetic docking station. You can also buy one of these cool adventure jackets, which just make it a little bit easier for your child to carry the Yoto player around. There's also a range of Yoto player cases and Yoto card cases that you can get as well. It's also worth mentioning the Yoto player's younger sibling, the Yoto Mini. It's smaller and much more portable, absolutely perfect for travel, it has a much smaller screen. It does not have the light light function. It does not have the temperature function that the brand new Yoto third generation has as well. You get around 20 hours battery life for a charge, which is less than with the third generation, but still quite a decent amount. The Yoto Mini also has less storage space than the Yoto Player. It has 16 gig, so half of what the Yoto Player comes with. But the Yoto Mini is cheaper and quite a lot cheaper, around about 40 pounds. Which one should you choose? That's really up to you. My kids have really, really liked both. Ultimately, they both will play all the same cards. They both will do Yoto Radio. They both will do the Yoto Podcast and they both will enable you to make your own Yoto cards. I would say this one is best for travel and if you're on a budget, but you want all of the fun audio that you can get with Yoto, I would say this one is really, really your best all rounder just because it makes such a good bedside alarm clock, night light, um, it really has been very, very popular with my kids. So I would just give the edge to this one. But if you're particularly keen on having it for the travel function, I would go with the little one because it's going to be much, much easier for you to take on planes, etc. What age is the Yoto player for? Yoto markets it for kids age 3 to 12 plus. However, a lot of the content is great for babies. So you could actually have it from age zero because the sleep sounds would be really useful. It just would not be appropriate for a baby or a child under three to play with this. 
So what are my thoughts on the Yoto Player third generation? It's really, really nice to see the improvement to the battery life and the extra storage space. That is really fantastic for taking it on the go when you maybe don't have access to Wi-Fi. The temperature sensor, I'm not so sure that's useful for me. If, my, if I had a baby in the house still, it certainly would be a useful feature. And I continue to be impressed by the amazing range of content that you can get on the Yoto cards available to buy in the Yoto store and from other retailers. The daily podcast continues to be a favourite in our house and I use the Yoto radio which plays sort of sleepy lullaby music after around 7.30 to get my kids to go to sleep at night. It just kind of soothes them to sleep. But the big downside has to be the cost. It's not cheap. There are much cheaper options for playing audiobooks to your kids. For example, just going on YouTube and finding some free videos of people reading out some of your child's favourite stories. However, if you are in the market for an audio toy for your child, this one is absolutely fantastic and your child will get years and years of use out of it. Okay guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my review of the Yoto Player third generation. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.